The color tool is really powerful for a lot of reasons. We use it a lot when it comes to album design and like matching images, but it's also really powerful to adjust certain colors in an image. So with this image here, we have, um, they, they can be a little bit more, they're a little bit more on the red side. So if I wanted to adjust their specific color tone, skin tone, I can pick up this eyedropper and um, these specific colors, before I pick up the eyedropper, let me tell you about these colors. These specific colors allow you to take the reds and adjust just the hue on the reds. And notice when I change the hue, it goes more pink. Whoa, psychedelic. And then it goes more yellow. She looked jaundiced, not good. So, and then you can go right back to center. But if you go to yellow, this will, well, there's not really yellows. Let's go to blue. If you wanna go to blues, this should affect only that version of blue so you can see how it gets more um, cyan it gets more pink in the background that could be a beautiful pink sunset that we had um, you also have a saturation slider so this can adjust how much of the blue um, you see and how vibrant it is so that's like a really crazy saturation there this is like a desaturated version but it's just affecting this blue there's also luminance, so you can bring up the brightness of just the blue. That's really nice, but you have to be really careful that we're starting to get a little bit of marbling here, so you want to bring that back down, um, not kind of make too much adjustment in that area. And then you have range as well, um, and you can play with that as well. So those go work along specifically with those colors. However, they're just really paint buckets. So these are the predetermined colors, but say I want, I was like, oh, there's not really yellow in this, but I want to work with her skin tone. I can pick up the yellow and then click on the eyedropper and then go over specifically to her skin tone, which is more of an orange color. Um, and I can adjust just her skin tone. So now if I go a little bit warmer, it's going to just adjust the skin tone. Saturation would just affect that color. So you can see how it works with that. And then luminance would be the same thing. Um, would just affect the luminance of her skin. So this is a really great way if you wanna just bring up a little bit, brighten someone's skin tone, you can just bring up, click on, I'll just review how I did this. So um, you're gonna click on any one of these paint buckets as I would call them. So any color, it doesn't matter. Uh, we're gonna pick up the eyedropper. We can just work on his skin tone if you want to. We can drop off the eyedropper on whichever section of his skin tone we wanna work on. I'll go for his lighter version. And then I can adjust the hue, or in this case, we wanna just adjust the luminance, and that just brightens up their skin just a little bit. We've already done it over here, so you don't wanna to get too carried away. We're getting a little kind of too bright on her skin now, so I'm gonna bring that back down. But you can see we just did some adjustments. All we did was on the skin tones, we did a tiny bit with the blues. I'll kind of pull the luminance up a little bit saturation just a tad and now you can see the before and after of just that adjustment that's just the color adjustment